Oh! Out of the way! Is everyone all right? Yes! I think so. That was cool! Just like on the telly! Can we just get going, Trevor? I'm sorry, Dillis, but we're stuck. Stuck? Stuck? Well, I had to swerve to avoid hitting some animal. The ground is really boggy out here. Oh! We're not marooned! Easy, Dillis. I'll phone for help. Uh, oh, there's no signal. You mean we can't get help? Oh! What are we going to do? The animal Trevor nearly hit could have been... The wild beast. Oh, that is not funny, Norman. Don't worry, James. Someone's bound to realise we're missing. So we're not exactly talking about an emergency here, then, Bronwyn. I'm sorry, Sam. I just wish Lion wouldn't keep running off like this. It's not unheard of for cats to wander off for a couple of days. He could be anywhere. Out there. All alone. Look, I'll keep a special eye out for him. I'm sure he'll come back when he's hungry. Yes, yes, you're right, Sam. Oh, talking of hungry, I'd better get the twins supper on. They should be back from their school trip any time. Oh, it's no good. I'll flatten the battery if I keep this up. I want to go home. What if no one comes? Ever? What are we going to eat then? Oh, I don't want to be a cannonball. There's only one thing for it. I'm going to have to raise the alarm before it gets too dark. But Trevor, you can't go out there all alone. What if you get lost? Or if the wild beast gets you? It says in my outdoor training book, never leave a stranded vehicle. Stay together and wait for help. It could be hours before someone finds us, and I'm starving. No lion. And now no James and Sarah. Where is everyone? <coughs> oh, oh, just a bird. <laughs> Oh, hello? Hello? Who's there? Pull yourself together, Trevor. Oh! Ah! Ah, my feet are stuck! Ah! Stuck in the muck! Ah! Help! Trevor Evans Barbecue has set fire to a tree. There's a barbecue blaze at the picnic area. I hope you're all paying attention in this morning lesson. Well, Elvis. It looks like you'll be eating those sausages sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. OK, Sam. OK, Elvis, turn on the water. It's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Everyone back, please. Penny, keep spraying the gas canister to keep it cool while I put out the rest of the fire. Don't worry, Sam. I'm on it. There. All out. Uh, can we go and see if there are any sausages and king prawns 
left, Fireman Sam. Sorry, Norman. Gas canisters can stay hot for a very long time. It won't be safe to go over there for quite a while yet. Oh, I'll just have to take the rest of my sausages home. And I'll have to take my king prawns. But I'm so hungry. I never even got a sniff of those sausages or the prawns. Maybe next time you should set your barbecue away from the trees. And maybe a little less charcoal. Well, you're right there, Sam. Uh, it was my fault too, Trevor. I was showing off a bit. Now no one can have my sausages or my king prawns. Wait a minute. That oil drum has given me an idea. There you go. One barbecue. Perfect for sausages and king prawns. But this time, you'll have to cook together. No worries. Thanks, Fireman Sam. Uh, I think this one will do just fine, Dillis. Oh, excellent choice. Now, did I hear you say you were doing your ironing today? Um, yes. That's right. Well, I have this new promotion. Summer Meadows Spray As You Iron Fragrant Clothes Refresher. Just watch this. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Have a sniff, Sam. Hi, Sarah. When you come and see something really cool around the back? Uh, OK. Come on, then. Hang on. I'll just find somewhere to leave Nipper. That's Mike. Sounds like he's in trouble. <laughs> Great fires of London! Help! Get me down! Hang on, Mike. I just need the ladder. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got him, Sam. Well done, Trevor. Oh, I, I can't hang on much longer! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mike! Mike! Oh! Are you all right? Uh, no, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Thanks to Sam. Thank goodness! And did you get a chance to fix my gutter in? Well? What do you think? Is that it? Eh? Uh, no, of course that's not it. Um... What he needs is a nice big mug of sweet tea. Oh, I'll have one if you're brewing up, Dillis. What? <gasps> oh, no! I must have left the handbrake off. Stand back. Done, Sam. You saved the day again. Lucky you were off duty. It's an emergency. There's a high rise fire. But never fear, here comes Sam, Penny, and Elvis to the rescue. This is awesome! Shove up, James. Let's get a bit closer. I can't move. They'll be needing aerial assistance. Aha! Oh, Thomas, it is helicopter! There's two boys on the roof! Looks like they're in trouble. Elvis, we'll need to use Jupiter's ladder for this one. Oh! It's my doorman! And my chains! Ah! <gasps> OK, 
okay? We'll soon have you back where you belong, boys. And descending in a harness of shame, ladies and gentlemen, it's Norman Price. Oh, what were you doing up there? Well, James? Sorry. It was my idea. I thought we'd get a better view of the rooftop rescue. You became the rooftop rescue. So there you have it. The reason we put safety first. Fire stations can be dangerous places for little boys. Well done, sir. Your open day was a real success. Yes. <laughs> Radar really has mangled that boot. I wonder whose it is. Uh, it's one of yours, sir. Uh -uh. My boots? My boots were used? But how? Red leg turn! Sorry, sir. Elvis has left the building. I just brought you some flowers for your room, Norman. But I don't like flowers. Don't worry, Norman. They'll make our room smell nice. But... Uh... Oh, Derek, look at your neat clothes. A place for everything and everything in its place, Auntie Dillis. What a little treasure you are. Oh. I'll just go and put my toothbrush away. Yeah, you do that. I can't let Derek show me up. If he was out of the way, I could prove to Mum what a little treasure I really am. And I think I know how to do it. Those flowers are okay, but they're not Ponty Pandy Pansies. Ponty Pandy Pansies? What are they? Oh, they're only Mum's favourite flower. How she'd love some in a vase on the table at tea time. But I'll be too busy cleaning my boots. Maybe I could get them for her. Thanks. But you can only get them in the mountains. Oh, that's a shame. So I've drawn you a map, see? Oh, uh, great. D -d -d don't worry, you'll be back by tea time. <sighs> right, here goes. <sighs> Ooh, hang on, I've got it. <sighs> It's just a horrible, stinky piece of lettuce. I think what we need here, Elvis, is a bit of teamwork. OK, Penny, I'll hold the torch while you tell Elvis which way to move the hook. Right a bit. No, no, left a bit. Nearly there. Oh, you got it! Now, bring the hook slowly up. <gasps> yes! Let me at that cake. Uh, I think I might be a bit lost. Um, which way is the right way? I'm sure I've been past that log before. Wait a minute. That looks like a red flower. Oh, it's just some old cloth. Oh, help! Whoa! going to plug this in. Uh... <gasps> oh, the cake! It's the oven, Sam. The cake's caught a light. Don't worry, Mike. We'll take care of it. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first over there. Right, oh, Sam. Okay, Sam. Well, I think we can safely say that the cake is baked, Elvis. Oh, no, Mum's cake! My kitchen? You should never leave a hot oven unattended. But I set the timer on the cooker. Well, you obviously set it for too long. 
Sorry. It's my fault too, Sam. I should have made sure he set the timer correctly. But what about my mum's surprise party? Oh, I got it so wrong. I was rotten to Mandy and Sarah. I wanted it to be so perfect, you see. Look, we've still got time. If you'll let us help you. I'll have another go. Mandy? So long as you don't nag, Norman. Uh, I, I won't. I promise. <laughs> Are you sure everything's all right, James? You've been acting very strangely all day. There's... there's nothing wrong, Mrs Price. It's my Norman, isn't it? He's in trouble, isn't he? Oh, no! <sighs> there's something going on and I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, no! Uh, no, 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 Mrs Price! Come back! I could polish the cucumbers again! What's That's a surprise! surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Birthday, ma'am. Oh, no, man. You didn't forget. Did you organise all of this by yourself? Well, um, everyone helped a little bit, but it was mostly me. Oh, my little treasure. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> In 200 yards, turn left. Well, according to my map, we should be turning right. With all due respect, Station Officer Steele, there's a satellite up there in space telling me which way to go. Yes, well, I'm sat here in the back of the bus telling you it's wrong. No, no, boys. We're supposed to be having a fun day out. Dillis is right. Let's have some music, Trevor. Oh, right to you. Excellent idea. A good old-fashioned sing-song. Everybody join in now. Over the hills and valleys, under clear blue skies, <gasps> fields of golden daffodils, that's where my heart doth lie. Come on! What's the matter with you lot? Join in! We wanted to hear the radio. Yeah! We want to hear some proper music. Proper music? Well, it's my bus, and if that's what the passengers want... Great! Cool! Come on, come on! There must be an emergency out there somewhere. This must be the quietest day in the whole history of Pontypandy. No fires, no cats stuck up trees. No Norman Price. Oh, yeah, that must be it. Not every day is full of danger and excitement, Elvis. A firefighter has to cope with anything, even a day when nothing much happens. You're right, Sam. But when it does happen, I'll be ready and waiting. We're almost at the beach, folks. Hooray! In 300 yards, turn left. No, no, no! That's absolute bilge water. According to my map, we should be turning right. Oh, here we go again. Station Officer Steele, I have been driving a bus for over 20 years. Well, I was driving a fire engine while you were still in your pram. Turn right, left, right, left. For pity sake, hurry up and decide. We're turning left. It's my bus, my sat nav system, and my decision. <laughs> <laughs> arrived at your destination. Have a nice day. This can't be right. Oh, no! Oh, we're stuck! Uh, I don't feel well. Uh. Oh, I, I hate to be a wet blanket, but according to my tidal flowchart, the tide should be coming in any minute now. Oh, my God! So much for your oh, no. gizmos. Not a bite all afternoon. Bronwyn is going to be disappointed. Oh, well. We'd better be heading back. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good, Charlie. The fuel tank's empty. 
It's a good job I keep a spare can in the cabin. I got one! <laughs> well, um, really to then station officer steal? Stay back, Charlie. I'll secure the area. Aim this at the base of the fire. Good work, Charlie. Ooh, the engine's burnt out. Looks like we'll have to call for help. Fire at sea? Charlie and Station Officer Steele adrift. You're with me, Penny. You stay here and man the station, Elvis. There's a fire at sea. OK, Sam. Good luck. Hold tight, Sam! Hello, Charlie. What happened here, then? It's all my fault, I'm afraid, Sam. You may not be the best sailor in the world, but when we needed a calm head in a crisis, you were the man for the job. <laughs> Oh. And it looks like you've got to catch. Can you hear it, Elvis? That's whale song. Somewhere out at sea, a whale is calling to its friends. <laughs> I know a whale song, Sam. I flop my tail and flip my fins. I splash the splish, I sure ain't thin. I do the humpback bug every morning, sir. Humpback boogie indeed. Attention! You're looking smart, sir. With good reason, Sam. Today, we are going to have an official group photograph taken, so we all need to be shipshape and shiny. And that includes you, Cridlington. <laughs> you can rely on me, sir. Hey, hey! And here's another one. That makes three crabs, two fish and a squidgy thing. Time to try another rock pool. <laughs> what did I say, Mandy? Naman rules the rock pools. He just got lucky, that's all. Hey! Yes! A starfish and a crab! Who rules the rock pool now? Elvis, yes. D down a bit, Sam. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, everyone. I forgot to put some film in my camera. <laughs> Stay there. I won't be a tick. Hurry up. Hello. What are you doing here? You are stuck, aren't you? Is that you and Mum calling? Don't worry, I'll help you. The fishing competition will have to wait. I need to get help, Norman. I just found a whale. Yeah, right. And I've just caught a mermaid. Let's face it, Mandy. I'm the rock pool king. Whoa, what's the rush, Mandy? Oh. What? Actually, on the beach. Ah. It must have got washed up by the high tide. We've got to keep it wet and get it back in the water somehow. Ah. But it's massive! 
then we'll need lots of help. I'll call Fireman Sam. <laughs> 